As a man, isn't it better to avoid high deferred amounts since it's a debt and it's frowned upon to accrue unpaid debt, especially to die with debt as a Muslim? Yes, yeah, certainly. And, and that's going to be part of the negotiation. Yes, it is preferred to avoid debt, but it is permissible to go into debt. The Prophet ﷺ died and he owed three dirhams to a Jewish man that he had held his shield as a uh, collateral so that he could buy wheat for his family. In this hadith, we find that there's a few things. The permissibility of using credit, the permissibility of doing business with non-Muslims, the permissibility of taking debt when one has a need, the permissibility of collateralizing that debt and the imperative of being able to pay that off. So obviously that was paid off from the value of his state as he died, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But it was to exemplify that this is an issue al mas'alatu makruh is asking of others, meaning going into debt or taking credit, is this dislike. And the basis is that it's not dislike unless somebody is doing something which is beyond their ability. So if a man is going to agree to a deferred mahar, he needs to make sure that it's reasonable and it's something that he can pay off in due time, not something that's going to be over his head and certainly not something that would be used kind of as a carrot and a stick issue between him and his wife over the long term. And again, that, that means that, you know, hey, if she's demanding this and it's unreasonable for me, Maybe she's not the right person for me because her living, her lifestyle, her spending habits might not be amenable to mine.